Stress comes in many shapes and has many causes. At Yena University Hospital, if a baby is likely to be born prematurely, doctors use hormones to speed up its lung development. But that stresses the baby. The researchers suspect prenatal stress is associated with a greater risk of Alzheimer's, diabetes or stroke later in life. This young test subject, Gustav, doesn't know what's about to happen, but he seems fairly relaxed. Researchers involved in the Brain Age project have already put about 80 children through the test. Half of them experienced stress while in the womb, the other half didn't. Project head Matthias Schwab is going to tell Gustav the beginning of a story, and he has to try to finish it. Gustav is okay with that, he's good at telling stories. But the neurologist will try to fluster him with intensive questioning. He asks more and more details about the story, until Gustav runs out of answers. The electroencephalograph, or EEG, indicates Gustav's stress, as do his rising blood pressure and heart rate. The test has already revealed differences between the two groups of children. The children who were stressed in the womb are already tense when they come to the examination. They can hardly get any tenser. At the same time, they're more restless and nervous. They can't concentrate as well. They jiggle their legs. They can't sit still. Next, the researchers examine the children's brains to see if they can identify any structural differences and their biological age. Their hypothesis is that the brains of children who suffered stress in the womb tend to age faster. They can't do experiments with human fetuses. So they take a look at stress in unborn lambs. The biggest stress for a herd animal is when it's forced to be alone. So we isolated the mother sheep twice a week for three hours during the pregnancy. The stress hormones produced by the mother enter the lamb's bloodstream. The researchers also measure the blood flow to the placenta. The curve shows that it drops by some 30 percent, meaning the lamb is not being adequately supplied with nutrients. Rats have relatively short lifespans, so the researchers can use them to observe the effects of prenatal stress in old age. They find that the stressed rats suffer more intense and frequent strokes. The constant stress increases their blood pressure and constricts the blood vessels. When someone suffers a stroke, the blood vessels have to be dilated right away so the affected brain tissue can be supplied with blood. But since the vessels are much narrower than in non-stressed animals from the start, when the stressed animals suffer strokes, they tend to be a lot worse. Other scientists involved in the Brain Age project are trying to find out if stress in the womb has genetic implications. The research teams in Europe and the U.S. are working toward a common goal to better understand the consequences of prenatal stress and to help those affected by it, with medications, for example. The researchers hope their work will enable more people to grow old in good health.